In this week's vlog, we go on a tour around Essex. I become Lord of the Flies. I'm so getting attacked by flies. Yeah, he's like the Lord of the Flies. <laughs> and Manuela is very happy. Don't do that, it's so <laughs> annoying. He hates it, that's why I do it on purpose, just to wind him up a bit. I'm getting covered in bugs. I'm they wearing... love you, you know. Because I'm wearing yellow, I think they th these bugs seem to think I'm a daffodil or something. Uh, yeah, so tell well, them where we are. Uh, no, not at the moment, because I shushed them away. Yeah, so we've arrived in a place called Braintree, and this is where the prodigy come from. And Liam Howlett, did I say it right? Yeah, Liam Howlett <laughs> and Keith Flint both met in this town and that's the start of the, the famous band Prodigy. Prodigy. Yeah, that one. Prodigy. <laughs> Jesus, I kept on... Uh, hello. hello <laughs> I kept on... Locals uh, are friendly, aren't they? Very friendly. They're lovely. They keep on smiling at me. Maybe because it's me. Well, it's a quaint little village. Country village. Yeah. So we're at Bokin Cemetery, which is just outside of Bra Braintree, and we're going to see if we can find Keith Flint's grave. Yeah. It looks quite... Just, just to honour him. Yeah. L looks like quite a big cemetery. I don't know if we're going to find it though. Well, that was unsuccessful. We didn't find it. Yeah, I've, I've looked online and it says burial details unknown, so we've got no chance of finding it, even if it is here. But we've scanned the area, I can't find anything. And I'm still getting covered in bugs, they're driving me nuts. I told him to buy a shirt. Uh, I won't wear yellow again. There we go, look at him, full oh. of bugs. Let's <laughs> see the bag. Look at that, look. That's the last time I wear yellow. <laughs> so we've made it to Peshley, and this is where Keith Flint had his pub called the Leather Bottle. So I'm going to pop in for a drink, get all these bugs off me. I've got to change this shirt. They're driving me nuts. Yeah, so it was a bit disappointing inside. There's nothing in there about it being Keith's, Keith Flint's pub at all, was there? No. So it's quite a disappointing. Not even a picture. What, what else? Albums? Nothing. Nothing. You wouldn't even know. Yeah. Very sad. I thought there was some food in there, were there? I didn't see anything. It didn't look like they were serving any food. No. Yeah. Um, we come all this way for nothing. <laughs> we're having a very successful day today. Not. Yeah. I'm so getting attacked by flies. Oh, yeah, he's like the lord of the flies today. <laughs> uh, Wherever we go, the insects and flies attack him. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we've just come out of the leather bottle. I was a bit disappointed. There was nothing about Keith Flint there at all. I know if I took over that pub, I would make a big deal out of it just to attract people, wouldn't you? Yeah, but just, you know, as a reminder of who he was. It was, it was at the end of the day, he was a, a rocker or whatever, but he was also a nice person, friendly and yeah. I think lovely, you know. So, yeah, why not? It's a bit sad. Yeah, that's a shame. It's, it's like it's been forgotten. Yeah. It never belonged there. Yeah.
We then headed off down further down the coast to a place called Malden, which is very famous for its sea salt. It's a very unique type of sea salt, which is very salty and very crystal-like. Got myself a new shirt. Yes. Finally. Luckily, because it's, it's gone four o'clock, so it was lucky to find a place open. <laughs> that was hilarious, actually. He got very frustrated. So, so we got I... fed up in Malden. We went to go and get some fish and chips to something to eat, and I just got attacked by flies. Again, so it was covered in it, so we decided to go uptown and. We're back in Chelmsford. Yeah, now we are in Chelmsford and looking for this antenna or aerial. Yeah, they say it's the city where radio was invented. Yes. While in Chelmsford, we found this bar called the Bootmaker, and believe it or not, they did a beer that was brewed all the way in Hertfordshire, which is where Watford is, where I'm from. And I've never seen this beer before, but it was so good. I really enjoyed it. It was called Rivertown. I had the pale ale, and Manuela had the pilsner. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at my face. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> So in 1920, the very first ever radio broadcast was made right here in Chelmsford. They call it the birthplace of radio. So this is the Great Bado Mast, which was part of Britain's early warning defence network during World War II. It is one of five only left surviving in the country. In 1954 the mast was used to help develop radar and radio communications technology. It serves as a strong reminder of the country's World War II defences developed in radar. The radar system was called the Chain Home Warning System and comprised of 20 radar stations spread it out along the east coast of Britain. So this enabled the RAF to meet incoming German planes so they could scramble the right number of aircrafts in the right places for the right battles at the right time. <laughs> 